Hey guys, I'm Pixel Dan, and this is a review of the Nickelodeon Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Ninja Strike Leo and Ninja Kick Mikey. That's right, we've got two more versions of some of the Fab Four hitting store shelves right now, being a ninja version of Leo and Mikey. And I know what you're thinking, these guys are already ninjas. How do we have ninja versions of these guys? Well, basically, it's the new action features that are built into both action figures. And we're going to take a look at both of those here today. So first things first, you can see that the figures come in that standard TMNT blister card packaging that looks a lot like what we're seeing from everything else on store shelves. The only big difference, of course, is the fact that the window shows off the entire figure, so it doesn't have the uh, little cardboard piece on the inside covering the whole figure. That's because it shows off the figure's action feature. There's actually a hole in the back of the box for both Mikey and and Leo, allowing you to do a little bit of try me. So you can try the action feature yourself by pressing the buttons on their back. So that way you can actually see Mikey's feet kicking right through the blister bubble on the front, and you've got Leo's hands punch him through the blister bubble. So kind of fun packages, definitely gives you a chance to try out the action feature before you purchase them. And then of course, also on the back side, along with the uh, holes in the box, are some brief bios for both characters with images straight out of the cartoon series and a look at some of the other figures available in this lineup. So let's go ahead and get Ninja Strike Leo and Ninja Kick Mikey outside of their boxes and take a closer look at them. All right, we've got Ninja Strike Leo and Ninja Kick Mikey outside of the packaging. So let's go ahead and check them out a little more closely. Now, you'll notice that they are wearing some very unique duds here. They've got some training gear on. Uh, specifically, they're both wearing pants. Not something we typically see of the turtles here unless they're in a movie, right? <laughs> uh, but so that's the one thing that's really different about the sculpt on these guys, obviously, is the pants that they're wearing. With Leo sporting white and blue and Mikey sporting black and orange and it's actually a pretty cool look i gotta say they look really neat um they do got some different head sculpts there as well uh so pretty nice overall now the thing that really is going to make these guys different from everybody else is of course those action features which we saw there in the box they've got these huge buttons on their backs and of course having these action features makes it so that they're not going to play or pose the same way your standard figures do. You'll see that Leonardo is forever going to be in the pose with his arms up in the air. Like he just don't care. All right. And Mikey, well, Mikey's action feature makes it a little hard for him to stand. You'll see that there's a lot of times where he will always just kind of bob forwards. You have to kind of balance him just the right way to keep him standing straight. His legs are very loose because of the action features. So let's talk about what articulation they have, and then we're going to play around with those action features. So basically, the arms on Leo pretty much are exactly in this position, and that's all you're going to get out of it. You can see they kind of spring back. Now, I can bend his elbows, and I can swivel his wrists, so there's a little bit of variation that we can get out of those poses, and his head's still ball-jointed, so I can still roll it around and make him look different directions. The legs are very nice, too, because they do have those uh, hinge-like joints there. They've got the joints at the knees as well. We can kind of swivel the uh, whole leg there, so it's pretty similar to what we see on most of the Turtles figures from the waist down, but the spring mechanism in the arms are going to make it so his arms are always up in the air. Now with Mikey, he's the opposite. His upper body is exactly what you would expect from a Turtles figure. He's got a ball jointed head. He's got those same ball joints at the shoulders. Uh, you got the elbows there, the swivels. You got the wrist that can turn. By the way, I love this little uh, orange wrap that's tied around his bicep. I don't know why. I just think that's a really cool little touch. So that's really fun there. Uh, so the upper body poses exactly like you'd expect from a Turtles figure. But like I said, lower body, very loose. You can still bend the knees, but even those are a little looser. They're not very tight. So uh, posing is going to be very different. The only reason you're going to really pick these up is specifically for the action feature that's built into them. That is what these were made for. They're not really meant to be posable figures or, you know, to be used the same way as the others. Now, they each come with their signature weapons, which is still very nice. So Leo does have a pair of katanas, and I will say they fit very nicely in his hands. It's a really tight grip, and that's something I appreciate since he's going to have that action feature with his arms flailing around. 
And then Mikey's got his nunchucks there, but uh, he's got a ninja kick action feature, so those are just kind of, uh, I guess, to help him if the kick doesn't do what it needs to. <laughs> so, let's start here. We got our Leo. You got two buttons on the back. I kind of like this, because each button controls each arm. So left button makes the left arm slash forward, right button makes the right arm slash forwards kind of at an angle or sideways. So like I said, we can also kind of bend the arms a little bit if you want to. You can get some different poses. By the way, that's a pretty sweet pose. That looks good. Uh, but you push those buttons there. Look at that. He slashes the swords. So you can do that however you want to with the elbows bending. You can get slashing swords at the same time. Uh, you know, one at a time. This is kind of fun because it actually does make it almost like a game mechanism. Like if the kids are going to get together, they can actually battle each other and use a little bit of technique here. You know, they're pushing different buttons to activate different arms. So it's kind of a fun little feature and it works very well. Let's see if Mikey's is just as good. So he also has two buttons on his back. And can you guess what they do? Yep. Right one makes the right leg kick. Left one makes the left leg kick. Now, here's the thing with Mikey. He doesn't really kick very high. As you can see, he still kicks, but I was kind of expecting his legs to come up a little bit higher than that. But it's still a pretty nice mechanism. Just a little spring mechanism there, so pushing the buttons makes the legs kick. So you can go left leg kick, right leg kick, or the crazy double leg kick at the same time. <laughs> Both legs up at the same time. So it's just kind of funny. He looks like he's dancing too. So there you go. That is our uh, action features. Now we put them in battle with each other. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, guys. Don't fight each other. Let's fight some of the bad guys. Oh, look out, Leo. It's Armagon. Take him out with a side slash. Forward slash. Slide slash. Oh, yeah. He's done for. Don't celebrate too early because here comes Mozar. He needs a kick to the face. Yeah. Oh, nice. That worked out really well. So there you go. Action features can definitely be fun on these. So these are meant specifically for play. These are for the kids to play around with the action features. And I got to say, they work pretty well. Now, the only downfall here I really don't like is the fact that Mikey has such a hard time standing up. But again, you got to attribute some stuff like that to these action features. And they do work. I like the two button press method. I think they're a lot of fun. So I think kids might dig them. They're pretty cool toys. So the good news is these are hitting store shelves right now. And they seem to be pretty easily available. So happy hunting, my friends. Hey guys, did you enjoy this video? Then why not hit that like button and subscribe? That way you never miss out on any of my other TMNT toy reviews. Until next time, my friends. Thank you.